Hello people, this is Aryan from Code Grind, and in today's video, we'll be creating a very interesting feature, which is the drag and drop image file upload feature. Now, it can be a very useful feature as it enhances the user interface of your website. Because from a personal point of view, whenever I visit a website and I have to upload any file, then I find it more convenient uh, to simply drag and drop the image instead of just selecting the image from my system, and I need to find where the image is. And it is just more work than simply dragging and dropping it inside. So let's see what this function does. So here I've got this logo.png file. Now when I drag and drop it inside this uh, drop area, then you see this logo.png file has been added. This is the message displayed. And in case if I upload the wrong format uh, like this, the video, which is of the MKV extension, and if I upload it, it shows that the invalid file format has been uploaded and the color changes to red. So this is what we'll be creating in today's video. So let's get straight into it. So here I've got this basic layout ready. Uh, in the HTML part, we will just need one div uh, which will hold our file. So let's create that div. We will give it a class of drop area. So this is it for the HTML part. Believe me, we just have to do some styling and a little bit of JavaScript, which is not tough at all. So in here in the styling, uh, we'll first start by nullifying the browser's default settings, which is margin zero, padding zero, uh, box sizing of border box and at last a font family of poppins okay so this is uh, the font which i use a lot if you want to install it in your systems then i will give a link in the description from where you can download it now let's design our body uh, we'll change the background color of this body to 091921 and give it a color of white oh actually i just forgot one thing uh, we need to provide it with some text which is drop the image here okay so we have got our text as well now let's align it exactly at the horizontal center so for that justify content center display flex yeah so it is aligned exactly at the horizontal center so for provi uh, providing a horizontal alignment you just need to provide the css with these two properties and it will do the rest of the work now we need to design our drop area so we'll select that div uh, give it a border of let's say actually let's first give it some height and width so that it will be visible height of 100 width of 100 oh not 100 it should be 400 and then a uh, border of one pixel dashed gray some color of gray as well Okay, so we have got uh, this drop box over here, which is square in shape with dotted borders. Now let's align this text to the horizontal center as well as to the vertical center. So for the vertical center alignment, we'll provide it with the align items center property. Yeah, so we have got this and now let's give it a margin top of 5. Okay, so this is our drop area and now we need to provide it with some different properties so that when we drag some file over it, then the gray color should change to white. So when, whenever we drag a file, we will simply add a class to it, which will be hover. And when that class will be added, uh, the color will change to white as well as the border will change to one pixels dashed white. So let's add this class to this drop area and see the changes. Okay. So this is what our uh, drop area will look like when a uh, file is dragged over this. And now we'll have some different classes as well, like uh, the valid class so whenever a valid file is uploaded then we'll have some different set of properties and whenever an invalid file is uploaded then we'll have a different set of properties so for the valid one we will simply change this uh, actually let's first change the color to white and the background color to green and then the border to one pixels solid green okay and for the invalid we'll have some different properties the color to white the background color uh, will be red and the border will be one pixel solid red okay now let's add these classes and see the changes valid this is how our drop area will look when the uploaded file is valid invalid and this is how it will look so it's all sorted out now let's get into the javascript part 
so we will start our javascript at the end of the body tag so the first thing which we need to do is select the drop area div so for that uh, we will use the document.query selector function document.query selector dot drop area and now the next thing which we need to do is the javascript is actually divided into three parts the first one is when you drag over the div and uh, the second one is when we drag out of the div and the third function will be when we drop the file inside the div so the first function will be when we drag inside that means drag over we will run a function and we will simply add the class hover which will change the border and the text color to white so drop area dot class list dot add hover okay so this should do the work and the other function will be drop area dot add event listener drag leave so when this function will run we will simply remove the class hover from the div so drop area dot class list dot remove hover okay now let's check this so when i drop uh, drag this uh, file when i drag over it the color changes to white when i drag out the color goes back to gray so this is working exactly fine now the third function is the drop so drop area dot add event listener drop and now we will pass an event over here so let's see what this event does now actually when uh, by default whenever we drop a file into a browser let's see like I drop this file then it will simply open it in a new tab but we don't want it to be opened in a new tab so for that uh, what we need to do is we need to run the e dot prevent default function now this will default uh, this will prevent the default activity of the browser which is to open the image in a new tab and we need to apply this same function inside the drag over as well so here e dot prevent default okay now when I drop a file like let's see like this one and drop it over here uh, it doesn't get opened in a new tab and now inside here what we need to do is we need to select uh, the dropped file so we'll store it in the image variable uh, the function is e dot data transfer dot files of zero so in case multiple files are dropped then uh, it will only select the first file and it won't select all the files uh, the files of zero means it will select the first file only and then we will uh, store the extension of the file so image dot type and now let's console dot log this type and see what we are getting so inside the inspect element okay now let's drop this logo inside this drop area and you see we have got the image slash png which tells us that the dropped file is an image and it is of the extension png now we need to check for the valid extensions so the extensions uh, whatever extensions you want you just match the type with those extensions so type is equal to equal to image slash png or type is equal to equal to image slash jpg or and the third one type equals to equals to image slash jpeg so if the image is of any of these three types then i will run a function will return the upload function and we will pass this image to that function so we will be de defining this upload function later on uh, outside this drop event listener we will simply define this function and select this image over here okay so if this image has the type of any of these three then the upload image function will run else we will simply return false and another thing we need to add the class of invalid to it so drop area dot set attribute class so we will set the attribute class to drop area this class should always be added and next class will be invalid so a new attribute will be set a uh, class uh, which will have these two values the drop area and invalid now let's see if i upload a wrong file let's see this mkv file and i drop it over here so you see it is an invalid file so the invalid class got added to it and it changed to red and now inside this upload image function which will only run when the right format file is uploaded we will simply set the attribute class to drop area valid and then we will change the inner text of the drop area so drop area dot inner text is equal to 
added plus the image name so for that image dot name plus actually let's leave it up to here and in here we can also add one thing drop area dot inner text is equal to invalid file format okay now let's see the functioning uh, this is a png file if i upload it uh, to the drop area we see the added uh, the logo.png file has been added but in case if i upload the wrong file like this mkv which is a video file so it will show the invalid file format has been added so this is how you can create a drag and drop file upload feature and implement in your websites i will provide a link to the source code in the description below and if you like the video then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such amazing tutorials on css and javascript and thank you for watching